compressed air industry in general is an industry that people don't ever consider, don't ever think about. Everything around us comes from this, the use of an air compressor in a manufacturing facility. My name is Adam Pettit and I am the president and owner of Compressed Air Equipment. What we do at Compressed Air Equipment is we focus on and our main, the main part of our business is servicing and selling large industrial air compressors. Some of our customers range from food processing facilities, refineries, pharmaceutical plants. We have a corrugated box plant down here. Um, RFC container we just sold a new system to. Gosh, we're just driving down the road here. There's one of our customers, it's Rossi Honda car dealership. They run our compressor equipment and air dryers in there. All these companies need us keep the compressors going, maintain. It's time for new equipment. We are the experts that come in. We recommend the equipment to put in. It's got to be the most efficient for their running and for their production. And um, it's up to us. It's our responsibility to give them that information. Um, here is FNS Produce. What's up, Brian? What's happening, man? How are you? Good. Good. What are we doing here? Pretty much right where the other one was. The controller would be on this side right here. The discharge would be on this side, but then we're going to have the desk and dryer sitting right here. And then we'll pipe in the dryer out of the dryer. Be here Monday morning. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, Brian. The, the, the majority of our business is South Jersey and Philadelphia. We have a lot of business in uh, Del northern parts of Delaware, but the main heart of our business is Philadelphia, South Jersey, uh, on up to Princeton. We work extremely hard to have the team of service techs that we have right now because in our industry, service is first, right? So before a sale uh, of a compressor is made or an opportunity for a sale of a compressor or a dryer, filtration, and whatever, whatever the case may be, um, you have to have a team in place that can install this equipment, that can uh, troubleshoot this equipment and give the customer the exact service that he needs when, God forbid, if that customer were to go down. So if you don't have a a good team in place that can do all of this, you have absolutely nothing. I was a uh, crew chief on C-130s in the Air Force. Um, we had to know how to work on landing gear to avionics, steering, guidance and control. We had to have a little bit of each field. Uh, there's, there's big dollars and cents that ride on their air being available to them all the time. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of plants can't run at all without air. Uh, we'll do any, anything we got to do to get them back up. You know, there's been times that, you know, we've had to run to another state to get a part and run back. We've been there 12 o'clock at night, you know, just staying with them until we can get their machine back up and running. The old electrical that we're tying into is actually completely oversized, so we're going to have to change some of that too, more than likely and um, change the location of where it drops. We can go to one of these. They're using a 250 mil wire. We only need one on it to run this machine, so 
um, were greatly oversized, which is good. Let it be oversized and undersized. Go ahead and cut it hard to the left. All right, that's good there. What we give to our customers is genuine. It's not driven by any type of corporate greed or sales pitch or drive to hit some quota or goal. I always wanted compressed air equipment to be completely, brutally honest with customers and have our customers see the genuine care and knowledge, experience, and frankly, might sound a little big-headed, but intelligence that our team has here. I hope our customers see that because that is the direction and the drive that I've always had for this company.